Hi, this is Josh, and this is an app review for Launch Center Pro by... I don't know. Anyways, so this is available on the App Store for $6.49 New Zealand, or I think it's $4.99 US, not too sure. Um, it's quite a pricey app. Um, I just bought this to see if it was worth, if it said what it would do, and it does it perfectly fine, but personally, I still find a regular folder fine. So the aim of Launch Center Pro is, it's sort of the idea of a folder really, where you have like multiple grids and you know, you quickly tap on things to launch apps in a regular folder, but in Launch Center, you, you, you have these actions, and they, you know, like, if you, you know how, in Safari, for example, um, you launch Safari, you go, you tap on the Google, and then you type the Google prompt, and you type it straight in. With this, you just tap on that, you type in, you know, pizza, and then you tap go, and it does the Google search straight away for you. So, in that, the whole idea of this app is based around these actions and you can do stuff like, um, for example, if you have Instagram installed, you can um, you can set it up so that when you launch this app, you can tap on the Instagram icon and it'll instantly bring up the Instagram camera, which is a lot easier than opening up the Instagram app, then the camera app, and then taking the photo. Um, launch Center relies on what we call URL, URL but, um, schemes. And developers integrate them into their apps, um, and they're, they're used to sort of like if you have a, a date in your a mail, your email, if you click on it, it'll trigger a URL scheme to open it in your calendar. So that that sort of idea. Um, so what we're here is what we're in here is the Action Composer. So that allows you to do um, specific things related to apps. So for Safari, for example, you can set it to um, search Wikipedia for example, and if we just click done, you see down here if we tap on this, it'll bring up the Wikipedia, or oh, it should bring up the Wikipedia search, but it isn't in this case. Um, also, if you do know your way around URL codes on um, iOS, you can create your own URL schemes right custom URL. So if you know your own if you know your own um, codes and stuff you can create your own. Anyways, so um, besides having actions and stuff you can put them into group folders so um, this is quite useful for people who have 400 apps and they just want to get you know have a few of them they use every day. I've set it up you know so I can easily get to all my apps. Um, now, selecting apps is quite simple you just sort of hold and drag and it just takes you away to the app. Um, a, a, a slight problem I did find with this is that um, since my device is older, it only is a quarter of a gig of RAM, um, I have to open the app. I, I can't, if I leave it running in the background and I open like another app like Flipboard, um, it'll tombstone the app and I won't be able to get back into it because I'll have to restart and by the time it restarts I have to get I could just open it for a folder which is slightly annoying because that's the whole point of launch centers to make everything faster but in this case it makes everything a little slower um it is overall it is, it is quite a nice idea like for people who have maybe an iPhone 4 who have 400 apps like I used to and that you know they just want to they don't they're sick of like swiping across like eight home screens to get to things you can just download this app and quickly jump between everything really fast really easily and just overall personally for me it just doesn't work but um yeah thanks for watching like comment subscribe all that cheers guys